I think that's one of the most infuriating things about Super so far. Oh, yes. Who getting shafted. Yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about that, uh, Neo? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like, go through all the trouble, like, he's in, he's still in the damn intro, and it's, it's like, it's just a tease every time, it's like, you're mocking me every time you play that song, because Boo's there, and he's so cool, but no, he's sleeping, because fucking, you gotta have Frieza. Well... It does make you wonder why they went through the trouble of, like, giving him the sort of, like, leaner look to him, and then just have him, nah, he's asleep. Yeah, he had two really cool fights. Oh, well. Uh, by the way, uh, I don't think you've been keeping up with Super, because they did change the intro. They got rid of Boo and put in Freezer. Oh, did they? Yeah. yeah. It's chance time, otherwise known as bonus time. You get to do one of these a day, according to your 3DS's internal clock, so this is where the choice really gets spicy. Ah, there is one thing here with the uh, timed event like this. If you try to move your clock forward, Jacko will actually come by Aww. and pretty much tell you off, and then he will lock you out of doing daily stuff for like the next day or two. That's pretty good. I like that. Alright, uh, Neo, you're new, so let's go with our first adventure bonus from you, mate. Uh, let's go right in the middle. Okay. Garbage. You picked <laughs> straight fucking garbage, thank you. Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, it might be. A, oh, it wasn't even a decent amount of experience. <laughs> That's like boo balling to the extreme right there. Considering we're recording like once a week, you'll get a chance next time, so it's fine. What is this? Street pass. No, thank you. Too social. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I kind of regret not picking up this game a little bit sooner for when I went to uh, MCM, so I could have actually tried out the street pass stuff. But apparently, it works in a weird way where. You saw get sent into another little pocket dimension. You can fuse with street pass characters. Yes, and you can, yeah. Cool things like that. I feel like that could have been a really nice way, although I'd be a little bit concerned if it makes you a little bit too overpowered early on if you abuse it. Yeah, there's like three types of fusion in this game. There's the, uh, the fusion dance, which really only happens between Trunks and Goten at the start of the game, from what I can recall. EX fusion, which is the main selling point of the game, where uh, I think the... Uh, your OC can fuse with pretty much anyone, but with anyone else, there's like certain combinations that uh, work and certain ones that don't. And the last one is Street Pass, where you can fuse with literally anyone. And uh, yeah, that straight up looks like recallers at times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's good that uh, I got no T inches in this game, but I, what, what I'm really sad, I think the biggest missed opportunity here is there's no Gokul. Gokul, yes. Goku would have been amazing. Well, I don't know. Is he not in the game? Because I know you don't get Mr. Saiyan until way down the line. Yeah, no, I don't think Goku is in here. Aww. I, th I think Hercule confused with Margin Boo. I remember that much. Yes, yes. Mr. Boo, I think he's called. Mr. Boo. <laughs> That's my name. That name again is Mr. Boo. <laughs> but I don't know if he has any more than... That, unfortunately. I haven't had a chance to have a proper look at him. Mm -hmm. At that point in the game, I was kind of distracted by the fact that I just somehow happened upon legendary Super what? Saiyan 3 Broly, and I was thinking, wait, what could I fuse with this guy? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Turns out fucking Goku Black. Oh my god. There's also no Goku Dende, but... Aww. Yeah. There is, however, a Piccolo and... Krillin? Yes, Piccolo and Krillin, who I use in my team quite a bit, actually. Oh, yeah, it's kind of uh, based on, you know, the scene in uh, the anime. Yep. Uh, no, no, I think it's also from the manga, where, uh, yeah, you show Trunks and Goten. Although, I'm a little bit upset that they didn't go for the ultimate irony fusion of Yamcha with a Cyberman. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do you one better than that, and I think I said this on Twitter before. Uh, I unlocked uh, Chaozu, because I believe you get him at the same time as TN. I fused him with a Cyberman, and his only move was Explosion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you could like teach him Great Explosion eventually as well, and just literally make it his only move and just explode people from the get-go. But no, I do feel like they missed a trick with Yamcha there. Like, maybe have it like at the end of the quest line, where he finally overcomes his PTSD with the uh, Cybermen, and he can now actually fuse with them and harness the very power which they have. No, no, like, the funniest thing to do in any Dragon Ball Z fighting game is play, play, play Chaozu and, like, use your ultimate on Tien, because it just changes the meaning of goodbye, Tien, so much. <laughs> 
god. We'll go out in a blaze together. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that Chiaotzu's fucking creepy to begin with. Uh, I don't know. I've never watched Dragon Ball. Is he like an emperor or something? In one of the movies. Yeah, in one of the Dragon Ball movies. Uh... And they uh, make it a retelling <laughs> so that Chao Tzu is like an emperor and Tien is his bodyguard. Nats? Really? Okay, I'm just gonna say this right away. That's not really original, that is just Oob with a goatee. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's the um, it's the jacket, really, but that's not a bad fusion design. Also not a bad fusion design. The Cyberman and Chao Tzu thing, Chao Tzu Man I think he's called, actually pretty good. Yeah, the, the, it doesn't look too bad. I like the color choice they went with in particular. Like, it's kind of a weird orange color. I don't know. It's a little difficult to explain, but it just looks nice. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna fight Nats. Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I've fought my fair share of Nats in the past. Mm -hmm. Haven't we all? Alright guys, I think we're gonna have to put uh, our own stamp of fusion approval on this battle, so uh, I'm just going to recommend we build up Key with Goten and Trunks, and Neo, you go to town. Oh, never mind. We've got a Zenkai attack to start with. Yeah. Using a Zenkai attack will use up your Ultra Gauge, but it comes with some nice perks. Strength boost, that's all I need to know. Okay. There you go. Zenkai Attack is also how you recruit new people. Uh, I think if there's ever a sequel, that could possibly be streamlined. But once you have support characters who have support techniques, they will allow you to bump up your Ultra Gauge super fast. So yeah. it's not that much of a, a bad thing, but again, something that could be <coughs> streamlined for a sequel. Just make it a little bit more accessible, I would say, rather than something that... Towards like the end, I saw it as more of an annoyance, really, having to focus on getting up a bar to be able to then use it and hopefully kill the guy and then have a chance of recruiting them. I mean, they could have at least made it guaranteed if you do happen to KO them through a duration of a Zenkai attack, rather than just giving it a relatively good chance of doing so, because you can still miss it and then you're just back to square one again. It's why healers are king. This is good. This is very good. Yes! Full! Full key! Got a Kamehameha the fuck out of you, mate. <laughs> this should do some... Oh, I thought it was going to do a lot more damage than that, honestly. Oh, against Nats? The ultimate Nats? Who does this Yahoo think he is? Alright, that was Nappa who said that. Radis would never say such a thing. <laughs> Although it does make me a bit sad that they didn't do, like, Petora earring fusions for these guys as well, because otherwise we could have had Rapper. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll just teleport out of the way. That's how I let the time run down faster. Otherwise, you know, just attack them and that'll drop their uh, time much quicker. Oh jeez. Come on. God damn it! And now you must learn to defend yourself against a Zenkai attack. There you go. Just attack them and their timer goes down. And if you get it down to zero, that just gives them a lot less power to use against you. Alright, what are we doing here, uh, Neo? Uh, we're charging key. Yes. Because we want Gotenks. Oh no, we have another Zenkai, don't we? Oh, whatever. Oh, we can use it on Goku. Zenkai. Alright. Zenkai it is. No need to pick a target. There we go. Yes. And I want to finish this Zenkai up with a power pull combo. Oh yeah, we got to smack him in the head with a stick at the end. I mean, that's just... Absolutely. Common courtesy, I'm pretty sure. I'm just holding forward and mashing A, honestly. Yeah, that tends to what it devolves into eventually, although you can get a bit trickier with them. So you can, like, dodge behind them and then shoot key blasts at them if you want to, although... Usually if you're just looking to build up bar, usually the best thing to do is just to charge at them head-on with melee attacks. Do I have access to fusion yet? No, that requires five, so... Uh, one more turn of charging. There we go. And then when it comes around to Goten's turn again, you should get the option to fuse. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go for straight melee this time. Damn. No reason to uh, steal the limelight from uh, Trunks and Goten before they actually have a chance to do something. It's those Saiyan instincts, they've been doubled. Double Sunday! Oh no! Beam struggle! Fuck you! 
But yes, the beam struggles work by, as long as you have double the amount of key required to use a beam attack yourself, you will get the option to uh, clash beams. So for the Kamehameha, you need four pips as opposed to two. There you go. Heavy smash. Oh god, this is gonna small. Ow. Oh, oh, in the face. Okay, you go ping pong off buildings as well. This guy doesn't need any other people to ping pong you off. He'll just pinball your ass off a building if he has to. Jesus, he's fucking psychic. It doesn't matter. Soon Gotenks will be able to lay into him. Oh, yeah. Get a little bit of a ghost kamikaze attack in there. Or maybe the donut attack. Oh, yeah. Galactic Fuse. donut. It's fusion time, motherfucker. Here we go. Nice. There is also an EX Gotex, which is infinitely better, in my opinion, in terms of design. Yeah, he looks a bit different, and unlike uh, Gotex normally, that fusion's forever. Oh, yes. Well, at least until you want it to stop. Yeah. There you go. When you come back in, out of a, uh, a ring out, you can choose where to go. Just to speed things up, I'm going to go with this. Right, special move. Kamehameha. It's again like billiards. You just, yeah, when you lose a ball, you get to choose where you put it. Indeed. I've only maybe played billiards two or three times, so I can't say I'm overly familiar with the rules, but I appreciate it for what it is. Okay, we've got a choice of Galactic Donuts, Buster Rush, or Taunt. What do you say, Neo? I vote Donuts. Donuts. Yeah, Donuts it is. Oh, I'm out of range. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Alright, use a Key Blast then to get close to him. Okay, yeah, good idea. Good idea. Because if you use a uh, Buster Rush, you might knock him too far, and then we won't be able to use the move anyway. Nice. Good damage on that as well. Oh yeah, well, I'd hope so for a fusion. Stop doing that. That's Napper's move. <laughs> you ain't slick. I know what that is. Oh my god! Ah! How do you key struggle with a volcano explosion? How does that work? Obviously you don't, as you just saw, Neo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was playing through Dragon Ball Xenoverse that the flame pillar move in particular was quite powerful. Oh yeah. I, I abused the shit out of that move. <laughs> what the fuck is this nonsense, says Nas before he's blown to fucking hell. Yeah, no, uh, no ring out for that one, but we beat him. No knockback, but you know what? It doesn't matter. The damage was done, and that's the important thing. Oh, yeah. Drown me in your EXP! Sweet levels! This actually reminds me of a uh, mission that I ended up doing, and the mission itself ended up giving me something like 250,000 experience. God damn. And every single one of my main characters went up like 8-10 levels each. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> it was a sight to behold. <sighs> Good times. Oh no, you mean fusion has limits? Blah, 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 blah. You mean fusion isn't forever? <laughs> Nappa, did you want that to go on forever? That's. Well, think about it from Nappa's perspective. He gets hair. Yeah. It's a little tough, but it's still hair. I think we have to reevaluate Nappa's feelings towards Raditz. Yeah, gotta update fanfiction.net's Dragon Ball Z entry, you know? <laughs> Although, the one thing I will say about Raditz is that if he ever went Super Saiyan, would he just default to Super Saiyan 3? I think so, honestly. Yeah. It's like, wait, he's a Super Saiyan 3, it just turns out he's an ordinary Super Saiyan, he just has the hair for it. <laughs> or if he went just Super Saiyan 3, he just turns into a Tribble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just becomes a hairball. I think if Raditz ever cut his hair, I'd have a mental breakdown. I'm partially stealing that joke from uh, Pat from Two Best Friends Play, but whatever. It just wouldn't look right. <laughs> Alright, so I guess uh, it's time to go to the next world now. Sweet. Uh, we are putting up about six or so parts of this a week, so two every day. So I guess we're getting to uh, business within the first week, which is good. Alright. Very good. Strange feeling. Pride? Vanity? Any of those? Hunger? Nah, yeah. <laughs> it's always hunger. Kind of is, actually. It's close to tea time right now. Or dinner, to use an adult term. Jesus, Tom, come on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, energy, as I've already discussed, is currency. 
you beat people, you get currency. It's uh, attributed to what type of character they are. So uh, I, f I always forget what humans are. Is it blue? <laughs> I think humans are blue, yeah. I think Saiyans are red. The Mechians are green, Offworlders are yellow, and Alien is purple. I never seem to have trouble finding purple energy in my run through of the game. Yeah, it, it. Well, I think it's just because purple energy usually comes up last when you're actually playing through the game. Yeah, good point. All right, let's go check out this barrier. Oh, oh I'm, I'm seriously regretting that voice now. <laughs> oh, just give me and Neo reasons to watch the playthrough when it goes on YouTube. Yeah. Rewards on top of rewards on top of rewards. It just never ends. Uh, I guess we should head back in and just heal. Because, uh, pro tip, you don't get healed automatically. So keep that in mind. Might be an idea to save as well, just in case. I'll do it at the, at the end of the sesh. Okay. Now we head up. Up into the stratosphere. I must go. My planet needs me. I believe that there's a button you can uh, press to, uh, well, you can move around with that. Yes, it's L. I'm going down. Ow, what's going on? <laughs> Somebody stuck this thing in reverse! <laughs> Too fast! Too fast for me! Yeah, you can fly straight up. I think if it's... You just hold R. I don't know. I don't give a fuck right now. That's fine. <laughs> I always found a lot of amusement when I was just flying around. I just tap the boost button constantly. <laughs> so it just looks like he's doing that weird squatting power-up motion as he's slowly flying through the air. Oh, I'll have to try that in the next world. I don't mean when I die. I mean literally the next world. 50 units of red energy. What kind of gazillionaires do you take us for? <laughs> Indeed. That's far too expensive. Not even accounting for inflation. Let's go. Bada bing. I love that free purple energy. I think that might be because we have Zamasu somehow, some way. Maybe? Wouldn't Zamasu be an off-worlder? He would, yeah. Yeah. I know we get the purple energy off uh, one of the super bonus characters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the distinction between alien and off-worlder is alien is like anything that's not a Namekian, but off-worlder is stuff like Margin and the gods, etc. Yeah, Kaioshins, etc, etc. Also like, uh, Deborah types, right? I... I want to say yes. I think so, I can't quite remember. Oh, hello. What now? Oh, okay, I was just advancing to the next bit. Uh -huh. So, we've obviously got a bit of the Namek saga here. And King Kai's planet is there for some reason. Oh, and uh... What the fuck is that city called? Ah, that's Orange High School. That is Hercule City. No, no. Formerly West City, I believe. What, did Hercule enact a vicious coup and rename it after himself? No, I'm pretty sure the city was renamed after he proved himself to be the man that beat Sal, as far as everyone else is concerned. That, that fucking reenaction they show during the, um... <sighs> What's the saga before Boo, the, the one that leads into it? It may just be the Boo saga. Yeah, the, the Boo saga. You, you, I mean, you could call it the Saiyaman saga. Yeah, the Saiyaman saga, with the fucking giant heads on the characters always cracks me up. Have you seen the version of that with uh, TFS? Um, no, I skipped all those, like, run-up or lead-in videos for the Cell games, because... I don't know, I just seem to be boring. I may go back and watch him. Oh, no, 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 like, like, like for, uh, Kai, uh, the Kai Buu saga, uh, they actually did have a version of that scene with TFS. It never aired, obviously, because, you know, Toei you know, would probably have a conniption, but no, it is out there. You should look it up. It's really good. Interesting. Yeah, didn't they release it on the DVD or Blu-ray? Yeah, yeah, it's in the, the DVD release, I believe. Nice. Can I enter here yet? Hmm. No, but I want to go into the city. I don't think you understand, Goku. I think a city is more likely to have food than anywhere else in this godforsaken area. Okay, but thou must. Fine, we'll go to the little planet. Try tapping the boost button as you're going along. 
I'm coming, King Kai! I'm coming! <laughs> Just as soon as I get rid of his hernia. <laughs> oh, I'm coming in for a landing! Ew, bang. <laughs> King Kai's Japanese voice took a while for me to get used to, because it's, it's so different from uh, Sean Schemmel's. I never got used to it. Sean Schemmel is the voice of all time for me when it comes to King Kai. Absolutely. Agreed 100%. I just cannot... Much like Japanese Goku, I can't really get much over Japanese King Kai either. Yeah, because, you know, King Kai is such a, you know, goofy character. You know, it makes sense he has, you know, that, you know, voice. But, you know, in Japanese, he has, you know, a very sagely voice. It just doesn't suit him. Or at least from the King Kai that we've come to know. I think he told a joke and the only one who found it funny was Goten. Read into that how you will. Well, we all know King Kai doesn't exactly have the best taste of jokes, but he is apparently very easy to make laugh. I'll tell you what the worst Japanese voices are for me personally. Uh, there's King Kai, uh, I can't... Uh, I've, I've gotten used to Goku, but no, the worst one for me is Majin Buu. Um, yeah, I can see what you mean, though. Yeah, although it's not too bad, I would say, but I can kind of see where many people might have a uh, bit of a disagreement with it. Because you always assume that Majin Buu is like this happy and childlike kind of figure, and I don't know, the Japanese Majin Buu voices, it's still a little bit childlike, but it's raspy? I'm not really sure how best to describe it. But yeah, I kind of agree with you there, although for me, Majin Buu isn't the worst voice in there. You gotta tell us who that is? Uh, well, for me, it'll probably be King Kai as well, in all honesty. Okay, fair enough. I will say I didn't like his voice, but uh, his voice actor was really old, and I think they've changed the, the VA for King Kai in the Japanese version now. Hmm. <laughs> oh, here we go. Explaining something that we, the commentators, have already told you. Yep, the sweet lore. Energy and allies, massacre! What manner of sorcery be thee? Where's your halo, King Kai? Why aren't you dead? Yeah. <laughs> that, that particular pain hasn't happened yet. Mm. Yeah, he was pulled in before that nonsense went down. Okay. The other weird thing about I think I think the thing about the Japanese you know version is that like everyone I feel keeps their like their child voice because Krillin <laughs> also has his child voice, which is weird to me. Mm. Yeah. Like, I always like the idea of having the characters grow up with their voice a little bit, but just having him with the same child voice when they're, like, 15, 20 years older is a little bit unsettling. Yeah, I can't really imagine anyone um, voicing Team Gohan other than Kyle Hebei, honestly. Okay, we've got to pick a really fucking good joke here. Well, we have Saiyans around, so I think enough monkey business. Yeah, I agree. Let's go, let's go, King Kai seems edgy, let's go for that racial humor. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Is that, is that, is that like the Saiyan version of saying the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I think we should get out of this rabbit hole before we dig much deeper. <laughs> yeah, we'll reach Hiffle before long. Yay! I'm happy. I'm pleased. So there we go, now we made him laugh, he's gonna lay the goods on us. Oh yeah. Yes, we know. We have free pink energy, somehow. <laughs> it still hasn't been explained yet. We can't actually select any of the super characters until we get to the third hub area, I want to say. It's third or fourth. They're level 30, so I'm not going to use them regardless, because I'm not playing easy mode, dude. It felt red. How do you feel red? Are you sure that just wasn't blood when gnats hit you too hard? My rage is strawberry flavor! No, no, no. Yeah, that's the thing. We're not actually collecting energy, we're just collecting different flavors of Skittles. Nice. Taste the rainbow. Mm. Right, defeat someone with a red aura, you get red energy. <laughs> yes, thank you, Trunks. That's what I just said. So, yeah. Yes, uh, there are limits. You will upgrade them as you go through the story and uh, beat certain requirements, but for now, mm. you're locked to what you have. Turns out Earthlings actually have blue blood. Nice. <laughs> I always knew they weren't entirely human.
Yeah. Speaking of, like, I know it was like a censorship thing with like Piccolo and like all the Namekians having, you know, uh, purple blood, and that that was an edit. But I don't know, like, seeing them with red blood feels really weird. It feels wrong. It's sacrilegious. I know. I don't know. We'll be positive. It feels weird that they bleed at uh, yeah. all. Oh, he's on that old shit right now. That spirit bomb, goodness. He's telling us about the Genki Dama. <laughs> oh, and the, and the Kaoken. Remember that? Not the Kaioken, the Kaoken. Oh, Jesus. Remember in uh, the first Budokai where they translated that to King Kai Fist? Sort of? I seem to remember a capsule bursting open and being like, ha ha. Yeah, I think I know what you mean, but are we talking the original Budokai or are we talking about the remaster one? Yeah, the original Budokai, uh, when uh, the Kaioken was called the King Kai Fist. And when all the music was ripped off of Stratovarius. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I still enjoy one of the Budokai's jazzy themes, so uh, sue me. Well, not me, the guy who ripped off the tunes, actually. But as much as the, Neme the uh, Namek song is blatantly a ripoff of Stratovarius' High and Low, it is a really good song. Yeah, I mean, you know, he should have been sued, and he was, I believe, but uh, it doesn't change the fact that it was a good tune. <laughs> I, I do like that style of music for Dragon Ball games. Actually, uh, the Xenoverse 2 OST has a lot of tracks like that. Uh, there's, uh, in particular, the World Tournament theme from Xenoverse 2 is really good. It, has a, it starts with a kick-ass bass line. Nice. And uh, speaking of more music from uh, the Budokai series, uh, Budokai Free's opening theme is, like, probably one of uh. the best themes I've heard. Oh, yeah. Not only just in a Dragon Ball game, but perhaps even most games in general. It just gets you, it just gets you that right amount of pumped. Hmm. There's a question. Uh, Neo, what's your favorite uh, theme song in a Dragon Ball game? Theme song in a Dragon Ball game? Uh... Fucking, I mean, Xenoverse One has the flow cover of Chala Head Chala, which I really like. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, oh yeah, the Budokai Three opening is really great. Just refresh my memory. How does that go? It's the da 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 Hmm. I like Super Survivor. That one's pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't bad either. Although, I'd still say Budokai 3 tops it. Hmm, yeah. Nice choice of words there. Okay, getting the fuck out of Dodger. I let me go! Apparently you're not at the proper exiting point. Let me go! There, go. there we go. They could have had, like, a path or something to show you exactly where you needed to be. Yeah, it's weird that they have, like, an invisible wall. I mean, King Kai's planet is pretty small. You'd you, you think they'd just let you Mario Galaxy around that thing. <laughs> Damn it, now I've got him on it, he's not going to stop doing <laughs> it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Ooh, we're level 11. Well, I've got no business for you to shoot. Although we may want to try and take on a couple of those dudes, especially if we want to uh, beat up the fights coming up later. I might off-screen... Uh, like recruiting a load of people and getting energy. I haven't decided yet. I doubt we'll need to do that until the second recording session. So, uh, ooh, yeah, we need at least uh, 40 or so more red energy. So let's go find a red person and kick them in the face. Oh, hell yeah. That's mildly racist, but you know what? I'm down if only to progress the plot. I wasn't fucking talking about Ooper and his dad or whatever. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, green, red. There we go. Oh, I'm coming for you. Ow. Shadow Krillin is pleased. Angry Krillin. 